quiet sea? On the contrary, far, far from it. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video where I'll be sharing my experience on the Rose Technics Quiet Sea. This is a single dynamic driver coming in at around $50. Before we dive deeper, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Rose Techniques for sending this unit in exchange for my honest feedback. But as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own and are not influenced by any party. If you've been enjoying my content, I would hope you support the channel by hitting the like, like and subscribe button. That will mean a lot and I do appreciate it. With that all out of the way, let's talk about accessories. Inside the box, you'll be greeted by the IEMs and also the carrying pouch. It's a pretty standard carrying pouch, but it has a nice light grey colour with a fabric finish and also Rose Technics logo printed on the front of it. It looks nice and light and it definitely looks better than a lot of generic black cases. Inside houses some interchangeable ear tips and also the stock cable which to be honest at this price point is actually a very nice looking and feeling cable. It has a fabric sleeve but it also has some heft to it but it still remains relatively lightweight. There's the logo on the chin strap though not sure why they had a pointy end to it which means the chin strap can't be flush with it but minor nitpick. For this version it ends in 4.4 termination and it's also an MMCX connection and this cable looks and feels a lot better than the stock cable from the Star City 5 Pro and I wish we had the black version of this cable to go with the Star City 5 Pro. It also comes with some plastic thingy to disconnect your MMCX pin from your IEM but I'd rather just gently apply pressure to pull them apart but your preferences may vary. For the designs of the IEMs themselves, it's essentially the Ico Audio Opal OH2 shells, which is probably why the box has the wording designed by Ico Audio and Rose Techniques, but I think Rose Techniques designed everything else, whereas the IEM is from Ico Audio, because from the looks, the position of the vents, the length of the nozzle, the MMC connection, is pretty much identical as the Opal OH2 from Ico Audio. So if you like the looks of the Opal OH2 or have worn it and found it comfortable, you're pretty much getting the same thing here. As a first time experience for me, it looks simple, sleek, nice gunmetal grey and a bit of translucency on the shell. As an overall, it's a simple but nice design, especially at this price point. Fit and comfort is a single DD IAM, so it's relatively small and compact. Honestly, no issues with fit from my ears and despite the nozzle being a little long, it's still thin so it goes right into the ear, but for me personally, I'd have to do some ear tip swapping to get a good seal. For the sound of the quiet sea, from the name of this IAM, you'd be thinking, relaxed, calm, smooth, just a presentation akin to the gentle waves of the sea. But it comes to you strong and to some it might be a little aggressive and that sums up the quiet sea in a nutshell. The mids to upper mids are quite energetic which again attributes to giving vocals that open sound, the sharpness to trumpets and that clarity to each note. It's powerful but the S's and T's from the quiet sea might hurt some people and the way quiet sea is bringing some of the details from the track is by pushing the presentation a bit forward so it sounds closer to you but at the same time it can sound a little too congested on really busy tracks. While imaging is fine going from the left and right, I feel there's just not enough separation between the sound and also not enough distance between you and the music to fully appreciate each of the sounds coming from the background. I think the best part of the quiet sea is in its bass presentation where there's enough of everything. Good amount of punch and slam, very clean sounding bass presentation, not a lot of rumble coming through but it sacrifices that for bass attack. There's some warmth coming through to the vocals if only the mid to upper region of the frequency were as controlled as the bass presentation, I think it would have been something that could appeal to a lot of people. But for what it is now, you'd have to really love this type of presentation. So comparing to the Star City 5 Pro, in my video of that IAM, I was saying that the Star City 5 Pro was reaching for the stars in terms of travel performance. Quiet C just went hold my beer and brought Star City 5 Pro back to earth and flew to the stars themselves. So if you listen to the Star City 5 Pro and thought not enough travel energy in which I think you need to get your ears checked just in case, but if that's the case, then the Quiet C might be the IAM for you. It's got a lot of energy and it's pushing more details to your face, so it's more aggressive in that sense. So if you're looking for a bit more space, some distance, but still retaining that bright sounding nature, then the Star CD5 Pro would be the better pick and it's also my preferred pick between the two. So against everything else, I've already made my comparison with some other IAMs at this price category with the Star CD5 Pro video, so you can check that video out if you'd like to know more. But essentially, 
with the kind of tuning on the quiet C is definitely an acquired taste as there's a lot of balanced sounding IAMs at this price category so the positive take from this is that the quiet C is different from the rest but I feel it's a little too aggressive in its presentation and it may not suit the general masses however your experiences may vary. So in summary, I think in an effort to separate the Rose Techniques Quiet C from the rest of the pack, they attempted a tuning that they hoped might put them on the map, but I'm thinking they might have shot themselves in the foot in terms of the tuning of this sound, because I feel like the potential is there. Nice looks, great fit, great price, nice accessories, and had they reduced some of the peaks in their frequency, I think they would have had a really solid IAM, but as it stands right now, it's definitely a stark contrast to its name. Harsh C. That's a more accurate name, but I'm curious to know your thoughts. Do you own the Quiet C and what are your experiences like? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you to Rose Techniques for this opportunity and to all of you for watching. Until the next experience, take care and happy listening.